What's up, everybody? My name is Disco Fly. What are we gonna do today? Today we are going to talk about my favorite top five movies of my life in terms of in the past 20 years. Well, because I'm only 20 years old. So beforehand, the five films is depending on my personal taste instead of formal analysis. It's not those films that is officially defined as good films that was thousands of awards like Oscar. It is actually the five films I can watch over and over again. And of course, spoiler free. So coming up, number five, We Plash. This movie is about a drama's career, like how hard to be professional as a drama and uh, how to deal with the teacher and uh, how to cooperate with the teammates in the band. Because I used to play drums so that I could partly understand the protagonist's the feelings and the, how drum works. The reason I really love this film is it doesn't really follow the main, like the normal style of storyline like other movies does. By that I mean we cannot clearly see something like a rising action or even a conclusion. I feel like it's climax everywhere. Like even for a single event, it usually has a big shift uh, to something negative. Especially for the ending, which is very crazy. I didn't expect this movie to end like that, but it's still pretty cool. Yeah, this one's this one's really intense. It brings me back to the to the jazz from class, but my teacher wasn't so crazy strict. So I'll put that in number five. So coming up. Number four, Hachi, The Dog's Tale. So if you're a fan of dogs like me, I really love dogs so much. This movie is designed for you guys. You know, I'm not a very emotional person. I I, I would say I never cry in front of a screen for some, some story of movies, but this damn movie really killed me. This is the only one. The story is talking mainly about the relationship between an old man and his dog, which he named it Hachiko. It is based on the true story happened in Japan where a dog is sitting beside a train station and uh, waiting for his owner to get home every single day. This movie isn't as intensive as With Splash, but it's still very touching to watch. It is sad and very lovely. and it's a and this is very impressive for me. I don't recommend eating food while watching this film because I swear you, you will be busy crying. But still, go watch it. You'll thank my life. So coming up, number 3, Avengers Infinity War. I love this film because why not? This film just came out this year and everybody talks about it every single day. I'm actually a fan of all superhero movies uh, from Marvels, DC, yeah, their imaginations, fancies. But if I would pick one of them, that would be Infinity War. Cause it has a lot of characters involved in it. And before this film, I've already watched all the films that's about every single character, like Spider-Man, uh, Captain America, Starlog, um, my favorite personally. So I already know every character's background. It's like a TV show when you spend so much time with a character. You have emotions to them. The characters connect with you. And then they combine together in this movie. How sweet is that? As well as Thanos, the villain, has a very impressive background uh, which, is show which shows in this movie. So we also have emotions to the bad guy in this movie. Although it has plenty of characters in it, but um, I feel it's still very organized. Two and a half hours talking about three storylines crossovering each other. Pretty cool. Anyway, this is just a very exciting film to watch. If you haven't watched any Marvel movies, don't watch it. You'll be the most confused people on this planet. If you want to, you have so much homework to catch up. Coming on number two, Korean Shinchen, the Cascade Boys of the Evening Sun. So, <laughs> this is my favorite animation film so far in my whole life. It is from Japan and uh, it is based on the TV series which called just Korean Shinchen. 
Every episode lasts only about seven minutes. It 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 is talking about a Japanese kid's life、um, in a typical Japanese family. This kid's name is called Shin Chen, and、uh, he's kind of nasty, which means he's too mutual、uh, compare compare with other kids. He's five years old only. And he loves adult ladies who is about twenty years old. And he loves show around his naked bodies, and、uh, especially for the button. This is dance he created is called like ass dance, some fancy stuff. Oh, but oh my god, he's so cute! I love him so much. And the story is so simple and also very funny at the same time. And for films,、uh, which is show in movie theaters. It adds a lot of fancy stuff in it. This series has one new film every single year.、Uh, it's still a family film, but、uh, most of them are, re- are actually very fictional. Cascade Boys of the Evening Sun is my personally the best one, where Shin Chen and his parents and his friends are trapped in a movie. In this movie, and、uh, how they become superhero to fight. The setting of this film is very terrific. It is located at the old West America, where people wearing hats, riding horses, and shooting guns to each other. It is very intense and very fantastic, and you should go watch it.、Uh, if I find the one with English subtitles,、uh, I will put down in the description. Otherwise, I don't know. Forget about it. Coming up, number one, Mr. Bean's Holiday. Okay. <laughs> Firstly, I'm a super fan of Mr. Bean because he's just funny, and those movement silliness is just so terrific and so simple. Mr. Bean's Holiday came out in 2007, but the first time I watched it was in 2012, right before I traveled to America for the first time for my life. And this is my first time travel abroad as well, so this is a very impressive. Moment of my whole life, and I watched this film on on the airplane, and、uh, somehow, I don't know, I could feel the sense of、uh, adventure just popped up in my heart. This movie follows the track of Mr. Bean、uh, traveling to France, and with plenty of accidents that lead him off schedule and、uh, lead him to the other places. But Mr. Bean still stays really optimistic. The best thing about this film for me is uh, uh, Mr. Bean lost everything: his package, his passport,、uh, except for his new DV camera, which he was using to shoot footage the whole time during his trip. And those footage is used in this film as a key and as a real fantasy. It's like you know. Recording his life's journey, which which is everything he's been through, and I really love seeing views and seeing landscapes as well. This movie is one of the top motivations that pushed me into film industry and traveling hobby. I love traveling so much. I've traveled to seven countries, and every time when I was on flight, I watched this movie over and over again. And for the last scene, where Mr. Bean. Reaches his objective, so beautiful. The whole movie is so beautiful.、But、to be honest, when you watch this film, you might not think this is such a crazy, terrific film. Like what I said, so since I have some kind of connection with this film, and、uh, I don't think other people have that, so、uh, this movie is really my best one. Okay. Anyway, as the audience, I'm still pretty much like a popcorn movie fan. Um, I make films, but as the audience, I just watch them for fun or for relaxation. And that is all of my top five favorite films so far in my life. My name is Disco Fly, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.